Hi, I'm back on this uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab A, which uh, failed. Sorry, I can't fit it all on uh, here. It failed because wah, 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 the ribbon cable here actually like broke off. <laughs> It broke off and there it is still installed under there it's probably got the uh, the little friction bar on there hold it in try to pull it out can't looks like I'm gonna have to take off this entire board to uh, well this entire cover plate to get to the board in here which has the flat flex connector on the other side of the board so I can install a new cable here yep that looks identical so I got a new one it was uh, cheap so uh, I couldn't get, because this, this glue has come off, <laughs> basically because the front screen basically fell off. This is the kid's uh, tablet. And the front screen, this glue has just come loose over the years. People in the comments of the previous video said, yeah, that's a thing. So <laughs> I couldn't get like an entire custom strip, like glue surround for this. You could, you could get it from Europe or somewhere like that, but I don't have time for that. Um, so yeah, so I ordered um, some uh, real stuff, but it hasn't come yet. So I ordered some just some generic different size uh, tape and stuff. But anyway, um, so that's still to come, but uh, this will at least get me back on track. So it looks like, cause it, it doesn't come off the back, like not, like I can't just remove the back because um, it's all like, it's all one piece. So it looks like I have to take out probably that, that, and all these screws around here, and your battery's under there. Has it got one battery or two? Um, and yeah, hopefully that all lifts out and I can access that connector. So yeah, it's really annoying, um, but eh, is what it is. So I'll get back to you. And for those wondering, no, it's not quicker to use an electric screwdriver for this thing. Just a spinny top thing like this, like this iFixit one is, is perfect. Like, you know, it, 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 it takes me just a couple of twists like that to get it out. So an electric um, screwdriver is not helping you in any way here. Maybe if you are mass producing them or something, yeah, you know, it might shave a second off the total time or something, but you know, ah, oh, no. No, no. I do like my manual spinny top screwdrivers and like and if I really get it I can like, sorry you can't see it, but you know I can like do it in like two spins and, and it's done. Because once you get past the friction of any like Loctite or anything else in there attached to it, then it just spins freely and boom. Yeah that turd doesn't want to come out, that's annoying. Sometimes the ah uh, the magnet's just not enough to overcome some little part of the thread that's caught in there. Sort of separate. Oh no, 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 it's not. It's all part of it. Yeah, I think I have to get those ones out too. Sorry, it's hard to do this under the Tucano microscope. Um, it's just like yeah, <laughs> it doesn't have the depth of field. I'm suspecting that those batteries might be glue, like it might be taped down to the bottom down there or something. I, th I think there might be some tape in there. So I'm not liking that because I've got all the plastic clips out. Check it out. No, missed a couple of screws down here. Uh, this is just crazy. Like I'm going, going right around this thing and I'm pretty sure I've gotten all the screws off and I've not got to be careful. There's a camera assembly there. But damn, this thing is just Nuts. Okay, I heard some cracking there, like cracking in a good way, that the edge up here is cracking, so maybe more of more of that. <laughs> these things are ridiculous. I'm sure it's easy once you, if you're doing these every day, but when you're doing a one-off like this, I'm pretty sure I've gotten all those screws out. Maybe I have to take out the SIM card, and that might help. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. That is a turd. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, wow. That is a, hang on. The other end. That was a real fight. That was ugly. I tell you what. Well, the, yeah, the fit on these things is just insane. Wow, there we go. We're in. I hope I didn't damage anything. Anyway, all metal threaded inserts. 
all around here. So yeah, had to get all those screws out to get that done. Jeez, and uh, our cable is this one. Turn it upside down. There it is, there's our broken one. That is not a friction bar, so that's why I couldn't pull it the other day, is because it's not a pulley. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a lifty. It's a lifty, so yeah, that was never gonna work. There you go, there you go. Okay, anyway, I will, I'll show you that. This is not in 4K resolution, but you know, there's the camera up in the top left there. And the, uh, let's, there's the, if you ever have to replace the USB, there you go. That's uh, solidly soldered down there. And yeah, these are all, uh, these are all the uh, press fit type. So anyway, let's get a new cable. And ta-da, there is the matching connector. Beautiful. So it looks like there's no damage to the connector. So what we need to do is shove that down there like that. And then we will put that back in place, shall we? There we go. You can sort of like, yeah, sorry, this is not feel of vision, but you can feel when that sort of like slips into the slot and then you can push it down. So there you have it. That is replaced. And a few cans there. But anyway, um, there's the battery for those playing along at home. There seems to be no, no puffy business going on there. So the battery, um, it's from Ningdi Amperex Technology Limited. So, uh, cell made in China and assembled in China. So, yeah, no surprises. But there you go. So we ha now have that in place. Now, I should be able to connect the scroll well, actually the screen let's have a look at that that actually contains some tapey tape and this one is a bar type it is not a press fit got some tape there I can re-put that back down but yeah we have a bar there let's flip that bar up and our broken LCD out our good one back in place Pin 1 and pin 69. Here you go. Flat bit down because all the contacts are on the bottom there. It's a nice close-up view of that. We can get that in there like that. We've got those nice alignment pins on the outside there. Those They're almost retaining pins. That's very nice, isn't it? I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. And then... Flip that down, and Bob's your uncle. We now have a screen, so I should be able to power this thing up, back up now, before I uh, just test it, before I put the back cover on, because you don't want to go to all that effort, and find you've come a gutter, because that would ruin your day. Um, as I said, I don't have the uh, the tape yet to stick it, um, to stick the screen back down, but uh, anyway, that's the, that's the power button up there, so let me... Do that. Has that actually got charged? Getting nothing. Didn't go into power down and maybe the battery's uh, dead. So I'll try and, I mean, it doesn't need anything. Doesn't need anything on the back. There's like, <laughs> the back is just those, uh, those screws, the connectors in. So that should boot. All right, let me uh, go get a charging cable. No, I'm getting zippity doo -dah. Because it looks like there was absolutely no damage on there. Unless I damaged something when I opened it up. Everything's, I mean, there, there's your battery connector. That's all good. Um, is that your battery charging circuitry in there? Anyway, we've got that. Connects to the bottom board. That's the USB charge. That goes right down to the USB charge cable down the bottom there. So if that one's Kamigatsa, then you won't get any battery charge going in. But, I don't know. What I'll do is I'll put a current meter in there. There you have it, five volts at, oh, it's jumping, jumping around like a jackrabbit. Look at that. Oh no, no, now it's, now it's come good. Okay. So five volts, half amp. Okay. 
So 2.4 watts, two and a half watts. So it's doing something. Ta-da! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There you go. Just needed to kick up the uh, pants. It does actually have uh, close to full charge. And um, yeah, just need like a buttony resetty thing, but that's good to go. Lots of fingerprints on there. But uh, yeah, I can now put that back together. I should actually put this back together. I should disconnect that cable there before putting this back together. But anyway, uh, she'll be right. That, that clips into place up there. Yeah, those buttons work there. There you go. You might be able to tell what that screen is. <laughs> Kids are into uh, that, so yeah, we are we are good to go. So you can leave that screen plugged in. So we'll get those uh, screws back in. And Bob's your uncle. Bob is actually my uncle, so no worries. So these things are interesting to work on. Uh, we had to get the front screen off, so you can't just take the back off because it's got all the metal threaded um, inserts are actually in the back uh, case there. So you have to get the screen off first, and you'll have to use a heat gun if you if you haven't got a unit like this one that uh, the glue is kind of worn off and it just comes off like real easy. <laughs> Glue's worn out or whatever. I wonder how that happens. Um, maybe because, well, these tablets, they have been left in hot cars. Don't recommend it, but uh, they have been left in hot cars by accident, and it's been summer here in Australia, so yeah, you know, <laughs> it could weaken the glue <laughs> on them. You know, you, you do that for repeated uh, cycles, and yeah, you can uh, you can come a gutter on your glue, and yeah, I think the screen's just fallen off, and they just yeah. They just, oh, all the screens come off, and then they just stuck it back down. The kids didn't know, you know, uh, what was going on with the... They didn't notice that the ribbon cable was busted or whatever. So, yeah, it sheared right off. I mean, that's... Yeah, so maybe it uh, it fell right off, because that is, like, completely sheared, like, right off, like that. <laughs> it's just completely come a guts of there. And, yeah, yeah, it's a nice... It's a really nice, clean break, so it's had some sort of... Yank on it. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Yank. I'm here all week. So there it is. It's back in place. As I mentioned, I don't have the proper die cut adhesive for this because you had to order that from Europe or something. Couldn't find a local uh, source. So I've ordered some, uh, just some double sided adhesive um, tape just in different diameters and I can, I'll be able to fix that down. But uh, until such time as I get that, I'll just put some tape around the uh, edges to keep the screen in because this glue is buggered. It's it's absolutely knackered. Um, so yeah, it doesn't hold down at all. I can just get my fingernail under that and just pull that straight off again. Um, so yeah, the, the glue's gone ski on this one. So yeah, I won't do a follow-up video uh, for that. Um, that is, you can consider that repaired. And I'll just put some extra tape on it when I get it. So there you go. Oh, that was annoying, especially getting this thing apart. That was, you know, if you do it every day, you're going to get used to it. But yeah, that was a fight. Getting that apart with all the clips and everything in there, I would have expected to come. Given the amount of screws in there that hold all this thing in place, I, I wouldn't have expected such a battle. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, they have gone to town on screws in here. So you don't want to go to town. When you're designing a product, you don't want to go to how many screws are in there? Like 20 screws or something? The only reason why they would have gone to that sort of effort if there's just the deemed they need that for the for the robustness, you know, because when when reviewers get these new tablet tablet thingies, they you know bend them and drop them and do all sorts of rug, you know, they have to survive pretty rugged conditions uh, these days. And uh, yeah, I don't know when this is the tenth iteration of it, and they're still using like twenty screws to hold it together. So there must be a legit reason for that to have so many screws in this thing because every screw cost money at uh, time which is money in your assembly process so trust me that would not be designing in like 20 screws to, uh, and molded uh, inserts and everything to hold this thing together if they didn't deem that all those screws are absolutely necessary so yeah um interesting huh so that's the galaxy samsung galaxy tab a 10.1 i think it is the smt 510 that is repaired and back in action. Just put some sticky tape around the outsides temporarily and Bob's your uncle.
Anyway, catch you next time.